Hey there, it's Joey Passi, the head trainer for SS Soccer Academy. Today I'm teaching you, I'm continuing with the one-on-one -on -one series to beat a player in one-on-one -on -one situations. A lot of fun, gonna help you dominate on the field. You need these moves. Everyone, I don't care who you are, you need moves to be able to improve as a player and to get out of tough situations on the field. So continuing with the one-on-one -on -one series, teaching you one of my favorite moves today, and it's the hesitation move. Not many people talk about this move in soccer, because for some reason, uh, people don't always view it as a move or a way, a successful way to beat a player, even though it's one of the most powerful ones, even on its own, but it can be combined with other moves as well. It's similar to the basketball hesitation dribble that talk about all the time. So, that call acts as the defender, I'm coming at this call, this player right here, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hesitate. And how do you do the hesitation? The only thing you have to understand is how do I do that hesitation? Because that hesitation, during the hesitation, it's obvious that I'm trying to pick a side towards where to go. So it freezes the defender. They don't know. It looks like you're trying to pick right, left, right, and then you speed up. So it's very hard to calculate exactly when you're going to speed up and when you're going to do the move if you're the defender. So if I'm coming here, boom, hesitation, boom, and I pick my side. And that's all it is. And remember, very simple, very powerful. And how you do the hesitation, do not underestimate this, very powerful, is you're gonna freeze them doing this move. So it's hesitation, and hold the, the longer you hold it, the more they're gonna guess towards one side. So if I can hold the hesitation, what, you, what it does is it makes them guess towards one side, because they can't, they can't resist this, they can't just stay, stand still when you do the hesitation. So I come here, here, hesitation, boom. And then I pick a side that they aren't going towards. So when you do the hesitation, see how I held it for longer there? They're going to start guessing towards one side. So I did a double, what I call a double pause hesitation. All right? So I was coming here. The one pause is, and one pause is simply my support cord hopping up and down. So hop, that's one pause. I landed on it and I hopped again. And that was a double pause. That's a long hesitation. So watch that again. I mean, here, here, hesitation, and then I go. Right? So, practice it like this. Hop on your support foot. So, if I'm going to use my right foot to beat this player right here, all I'm going to do, take a hop, because most people just come running. So, slow down, hop, and then pick a side. And that's all I want you to practice with. Once you get better at that, then you can pull the pause for longer, so you can do a double hop. So remember, you come at the cone, boom, hop, and then pick a side and accelerate. And then, once you get better, you do a double pause. It's here, hop, hop, and then we go. And you can even add more if you want. You do the pause, so you do the hesitation, wait for them to pick a side, hesitation, they pick a side, and I come towards whichever side they're obviously not coming towards. Very powerful move, I promise you, and you can add it in with a ton of other moves, and that hop, that hesitation, is actually the base for building so many other awesome things in soccer, so learn it well. It's, a, it's, it's almost like a secret, because a lot of guys don't understand it, don't use it, and it's not taught hardly ever. It's taught as a basketball thing, but not as something in soccer. So learn how to do that hesitation. Awesome way to be a player in a one-on-one. Don't forget to hit the link to subscribe. My top three moves up here, hit this link. All you're going to do is put your email address in. It's for free. Hit that link. Lastly, don't forget to comment, like, let me know if you have anything else you want me to work on.